Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where am I? What's going on? Whoa, whoa, what seems to be a problem? Why are you so upset? I don't know where I am. Who are you? Who am I? I think we have ourselves a newbie. I think you're a red blood cell that just left the bone marrow, and this is your first trip through the heart. The heart? Where did I come from? Where am I going to? Not to worry. You're traveling through the heart, and this is a route that you're going to travel countless times. I'm a white blood cell. I protect the body from infection. And we'll be happy to help you through. Nice to meet you. I'm a platelet, and I help clot the blood in case we cut ourselves. Just relax, and we'll explain. We are beginning our journey through the heart in one of the four chambers known as the right atrium. If you were looking at this from outside, it would be near the base of the heart. That's the superior portion near the second intercostal space. There are three alternate ways that you can use to get into the right atrium. You can come from the superior vena cava. That's a vein that drains the head and the arms. Or you could come through the inferior vena cava. That's a big vein that drains the inferior portions of the body. Or you could come through the smaller coronary sinus. That's the vein which drains the venous blood from the heart itself. While there are three ways to get into the right atrium, there's only one way to leave. The right atrium empties into the right ventricle, which is inferior to it. That sounds like fun. Can we go to the right ventricle now? Can we? Can we? All in good time. For right now, we're just going to have to wait a little bit because there's a valve that separates the right atrium from the right ventricle, known as the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve on account of it has three cusps. Right now, that valve is closed. We're going to have to wait for it to open before we can go to the right ventricle. This tricuspid valve opens at the beginning of each cardiac cycle, just after the T wave of the previous cardiac cycle. Now, we could flow with the pressure into the right ventricle, or if you want to wait, the right atrium will begin to squeeze using the muscle in the myocardium of its wall, and it will push us into the right ventricle. Either way, we'll end up in the right ventricle. 